in my life. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Becky. Lynn, this is my assistant, Olive. Okay, I'm gonna step back and would you give me a thumbs up if you can hear me? Can you hear me from here? Yay, thank you. This is my very first live video. settled and get comfortable and do a little sound check. For those of you who have just entered the group, this is Olive, my assistant. Hey Jessica. Hey Sherry. until we begin, ladies. I hope you're all having a wonderful morning. I'm hoping that my dogs don't enter this video often. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. I appreciate you. Because this is my very first live video of my entire life, I'm very happy it's with you ladies. Hey Morgan! Olive, come say hi to everybody one more time please, come here. Get it out of your system now, come here. Now come sit down. This is Maria and this is Olive, my two assistants. We call her Coney LaRue right now. Three more minutos. Hey, Kim. <laughs> They're very sweet. All right, girls. Go on now. Go on now. Well, it appears that Olive is now our yoga teacher for the morning. Hey, Melissa. This is so. This is one of my biggest classes yet. This is awesome. Two minutes until we begin. I hope you're all laid out on a mat in a comfortable spot. Um, we're not gonna be doing very much Shavasana today because I've never 
done this Shavasana live. So those who want to stick around for Shavasana, we can do that, but I'm just going to kind of wing the Shavasana and see how we feel about it, if that's okay. Or I can give you suggestions on how to do Shavasana on your own. Can y'all hear my background music? Is it too loud? And by the way, my husband is here and he's gonna walk through to go out the door just one time, so excuse him. Okay, miss. Vamanos, chica. Excuse me. Bye-bye. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so this class is going to be one hour long. We're gonna begin in a standing position. So whenever you're ready, go to your mat, get in your standing position and we will begin. Now, cause it's 9 a.m. Okay, so beginning in a standing position, you can have any resting pose be activated. So having your feet together, kneecaps lifted to engage those quads, tuck that tailbone, Michael Jackson, shoulders back, palms spread wide, head in line with that spine. Take a close to your eyes and just begin to notice your natural breath. Is your breath flowing this morning? Is it a little raspy this morning? Just notice what the breath feels like. Let's settle in the space for the next hour, okay? Just breathing here. If you'd like, you can take the feet a little bit apart for more stability, if it's more comfortable for you. I think this is better, sorry. That's a little better, okay. So let's take three clearing breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose, let it go. The more audible, the better. Good, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. Good, one more. Good. Now throughout this next hour, if you feel that your mind is wandering, that's okay. Just try to draw your attention back to your breath, back to the practice, okay? All right, so however your feet wanna be a little bit apart for more stability, or together if you wanna challenge your balance a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and find more stability here. You're gonna inhale your arms up. <sighs> Connect those steeple fingers like so, and just begin to tick tock back and forth, just easy, finding some spine warm-ups here. You can also bring your arms down if this is a little bit easier for you. You still get the same amount of work. I like to leave my arms up. Just warming up that spine, taking it close to the eyes, finding where your body needs some movement. Good, throughout this practice, I'm going to be mirroring you, so whenever you go right, I will be going left, so you'll see me going to your right. Okay, you're gonna inhale, reach up. Exhale down to the right. For that left side body stretch. Really think about inhaling, pulling that left hand. Exhale, a little deeper. But be gentle with yourself. We're just warming up the spine this morning. I wanna make sure you can hear me. Okay, you can hear me, good. Good. All right, inhale back to center. Exhale, drop it down to the left for that right side body stretch. We're gonna take it slow this morning because it is the morning. We wanna warm our bodies up. Good, inhale back to center one more time. 
really squeeze those biceps to the ears. Exhale, down to the right. Really pull that left shoulder back. Open that chest up. Good, inhale back up. Exhale, drop it down to the left side, right side body stretch. Good. With those arms still overhead, we're gonna take a slight back bend. Now you can bring your arms here as we have them, or you can bring them to your sacrum pockets right here. Whatever's more comfortable for you, do that. I'm gonna bring my hands to my sacrum pockets right now. Inhale, gaze up. Slight back bend, pull those shoulders back. Don't take this too far now, we're still warming up, okay? Inhale, lift up as you inhale. Exhale, back a little more. Good, now slowly come up one vertebrae at a time. Head the last thing to come up. Good, now hands back over your head. Interlace those fingers, staple fingers released. We're gonna go for a forward fold, flat back here, okay? If your back begins to round, that's okay, just bend your knees. So inhale, lift. Exhale, go down, biceps to your ears. Take this slow now. So I'm feeling a pull in my lower back and the back of my legs, so I'm gonna bend those knees. Good, exhale, forward fold. You can round the back a little here. Good, let's go ahead and take some space in between the feet, about two fist width. Good. Just take a moment here, grabbing opposite elbows, opposite hands. Become heavy, let yourself hang. Maybe sway forward and backwards. Maybe sway left and right. I'm gonna make sure you can still hear me. Hey, Gwen. Good, being heavy still. Just let yourself relax here for a minute. Good, now take your left hand, grab your right ankle and your right hand can find a bind behind your back, like so. Whoop, hello. But pull into that right ankle to really get that side stretch on this side of your body, your left side. You can also leave your right hand on your hip or on your thigh. Just warming up that back right now. Using your inhales to grow taller. Exhale to bring the body closer to your thigh. You can also play with bending one leg, straightening the other, then switching, bending the left, straightening the right. Good. Now right hand to your left ankle. Bind with that left hand behind your back or on the hip or on the thigh. Really use that left ankle as leverage, pull into it. Using your inhales to grow. Exhale to melt deeper into your mat. One more good breath here. Just so I don't keep checking, can y'all hear me okay? Can one of you give me a thumbs up please? Sorry to make you get off your mat. I just want to make sure so I don't keep checking over and over again. Okay. All right, so in your dangling position, meet me back in center here. You're gonna inhale, rise up, sit in that chair. Thank you for the thumbs up. Good. Now, anytime your arms are raised up like this, you can turn your pinkies in to get more rotation of the shoulders to really pull them back. So make sure your biceps are close to your ears. I like to kind of bounce in these poses. <sighs> Breathing here for a moment, you got this. Good, bring those hands to heart center. You're gonna connect that left elbow with the right knee for a twist. Gazing over your right shoulder here. 
We're twisting out all that stagnant energy in your body that you had when you were sleeping. to heart center, still in your chair. Good. Now connect that right elbow to the left knee. Gaze over your left shoulder now. Good. Back to center. Inhale, arms up, back in that chair. I know your legs are burning. We're about to take it to the floor. Good, forward fold. Good, now come down to a seated position. Now whatever this means for you, a seated position is supposed to be comfortable for you. So have your legs really comfortable. I like to have my ankles on the ground in front of each other or you can have them stacked and sit Indian style. Whatever's comfortable for you, do that. Okay. So just like our standing pose, seated pose is also activated. Up tall, shoulders back, still tuck that tailbone. It might feel kind of strange, but if you notice, if you don't tuck the tailbone, you have this curvature in your back right here. I don't know if you can see that. When I tuck my tailbone, my spine's completely in one line. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take some snake charmers, hands on the knees, use your knees as leverage. As you inhale, pull the shoulders back, lean forward. As you exhale, round the back, use your knees as leverage, bring the chin to your chest. Inhale around, exhale round the back. Good, inhale forward, pull those shoulders back. Get back, Marie. <laughs> Sorry, she's gonna help me out here. <laughs> Good, keep going at your own pace with your own breath. I encourage autonomy in my classes. I'm simply here to guide you. You can make this as exaggerated. Throw in arms if you want, or as small as you like. Just listen to your body. Good, go ahead and reverse directions. When I say use those knees as leverage, I mean pull against them. It feels good, use them. Ooh, might feel some pops like I just did. I love morning practices because they're all about just warming up the body, warming up the spine. Good. Meet me back in center when you're ready. I also encourage just finding movement where you can in between poses. All right, we're gonna take some seated cat cows now. Use those knees as leverage once again. Inhale, pull on those knees, shoulders back, lean forward. Inhale. Exhale, round the back cat. Bringing that chin to your chest will give you that nice elongated neck stretch. Inhale forward. Exhale round the back. Inhale forward. Exhale round the back. Good, one more round. Inhale forward. Exhale round the back. Good. Now going back to a seated side stretch this time. This is where I'll mirror you, so don't get confused. I'll try not to. Inhale, arms up. Pinkies in for full rotation of those shoulders. You see how my hands are just normal? And now I can pull my shoulders back more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, drop that right hand to the ground, left hand overhead. And if you'd like a deeper stretch, bring your forearm to the ground really think about becoming heavy through that left side. It's okay if your left bum cheek kind of comes off, but your goal is to keep it down. So if that means you go to your hand, that's okay. 
So inhaling, reaching, exhaling, little deeper. Inhale, reach, exhale, little deeper. One more, inhale, reach, exhale, little deeper. Good, inhale, arms back up, back to center. Exhale, drop that left hand to the ground or forearm, right hand overhead. A little tighter on this side today. Inhale, reach, really pull that right shoulder open. Exhale, deeper. Inhale, reach. Exhale, a little deeper. Good. Last one. Inhale, reach. Exhale, a little deeper. Good. Back to center now. Good. Now let's do a little seated child's pose. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, flat back. Bring your hands down. Your palms are activated on your fingertips. Walk them out. Bring that forehead to the ground. This should feel good and juicy. If you want more of an intense stretch, walk those hands up as far as you can. If it's a little too intense, just bring them back towards your body. That's perfectly fine. So take a couple breaths here at your own pace while I say hi to these other two. Angel and Karen, hello. Wave. here. Good. Now let's walk those hands over to the right side. Your palms can be flat on the ground this time. Place that left hand on top of your right. I like to put my fingertips inside my other hand's fingers, <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh, I'm supposed to be mirroring you, sorry. <laughs> so we're getting that left side body stretch right now. What you want to think about is as you're inhaling, you're actually moving your organs out of the way so you can exhale deeper into your stretch, as creepy as that may sound. So you're inhaling, growing taller, Exhaling, melting. All right, let's walk those hands over to the other side. Right hand on top of your left now for that right side body stretch. Inhaling, growing taller through your body, all the way through the crown of the head. Exhale, melt a little deeper. Couple more breaths here. I always encourage you to close your eyes because it really helps you connect to your breath and to your body. Good, walk those hands back to center and walk them slowly back towards the body. It's extremely important to come out of a pose slowly when you've held a pose for a while, just to protect your body. All right, go ahead and swing those legs around. Meet me in a tabletop. All right, now, I just realized I forgot my wrist brace. I have a broken wrist. Bear with me. All right, so in a tabletop, you want your hips over your knees, your shoulders over your elbows, over your wrists, okay? So you're gonna inhale, pull the shoulders back, gaze up. Exhale, round the back, bring the chin to your chest. Good, and really think about pushing the tops of those feet into the ground. It helps you engage your quads, and it helps just for, with stability in general. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round the back. Good, really think about pressing into the palms as you do a cat, as you round that back, really push. All right, inhale, look up. Exhale, round the back. Find some movement here. Find some autonomy here. Maybe you wiggle back and forth. Maybe you shake that tail left and right, popping the tail out to the left, gazing over the left shoulder. Round, hit the back to the other side. 
Gaze over your right shoulder, popping that right thumb out. Just find some autonomy. I wish I could see y'all right now. I miss my yoga people. Maybe you take some big circles with the whole body. Yoga's supposed to be fun, right? Get weird with it. And I'm gonna go on my fist because I don't have my wrist brace on. Don't judge me. <laughs> Let's take one more good cat or cow. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round the back. Good. Now bring those toes together. Spread those knees wide. The wider the knees, the more intense this child pose will be. Sit back on those heels. Arms out in front of you. Forehead to the ground. Now same thing here. Every inhale you take, think about walking those hands away from you. Inhale. Every exhale, melting a little deeper into your mat. So I encourage you, take it close to your eyes here. Use your inhales, walk the fingers away from you. Exhale, melt a little deeper into your mat. Good, a couple more breaths here. Let's go ahead and take an audible breath, inhaling through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. <sighs> Those feel really good. Let's take one more. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> hey, John. Good. Now let's walk those hands back towards the body. Slowly be gentle with your spine. Good. We can be back in a tabletop position. We're going to show our abs a little bit of love here. All right. You're going to bring your right arm out, left leg out. Inhale out. Exhale. Bring them both in. Now do this slowly and squeeze every muscle. Inhale up. All the energy out the hand, out the foot. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale out. Exhale, bring it in. Two more. Inhale out. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale out, exhale, bring it in. Good, back in tabletop. Ooh, wiggle a little bit. All right, other side now. Left hand out, all the energy shooting out this left hand, all the energy shooting out that right leg. All right, inhale out, exhale, bring it in. Inhale out. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale out. Exhale, bring it in. Two more. Inhale out. Exhale, bring it in. One more. Inhale out. Exhale, bring it in. Good. Find that movement real quick. Woo! We're gonna show our abs a little more love, okay? All right, so go ahead and meet me in a plank, but on your forearms, like this, okay? Or, if you'd like to challenge yourself, that's great. You can meet me in a regular plank. Any plank you meet me in, though, you wanna have your shoulders protracted, tailbone tucked. You don't wanna have your booty in the air. You don't wanna have it too low. Find a plank and then whoosh, tuck your tailbone, protract your shoulders, okay? So whether you're here or here. All right, I'm gonna roll to the right forearm for a right side plank. Now your feet can be stacked or they can be staggered for more stability. Your hand, left hand can help you or you can stack them like this and bring that left arm up. You can also Bring your hip on the ground. That's okay too. 
Wherever you are, don't forget to breathe. And smile. You can trick your brain. Woo! Two more breaths. Good. Back to your plank. Push back into a child's pose. Take a minute. Thank your body for that. I don't know about y'all, but I'm sweating. <laughs> All right, couple more breaths in your child's pose. Remember, the wider your knees spread, the more intense the stretch. Hey, Shelly. Hey, Shannon. side plank. All right, meeting me in your plank. This is where I wish I could see you so I could pop you on the hips if I need to. Just kidding. All right, protract shoulders, tuck tailbone, whether you're here or you're here. Your choice. Rotate over on that left side. Right hand for more stability here. More of a challenge up. Woo. Stack your feet or place them in front of each other. My left arm is a little weaker these days from my broken wrist, but that's okay. Breathing here, smile. Two more breaths, you got this. Good, back to your plank. Spread those knees wide, bring the toes together, push back. here together. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. So if you stick out your tongue, it's called a lion's breath. Let's do that. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Looks funny, but it feels really good. Let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. I'm sure I look really funny. <laughs> All right, really good job. Grab some water if you need some water. I'm not sure if you're grabbing water, so I'm going to act like you are. I'll grab some water too. The way I teach, I teach autonomy. I teach with a lot of breath, a lot of alignment, and a lot of water. All right. Meeting back here at our tabletop. We're gonna go into a down dog, but the way I want you to go into it, tuck those toes, bring the hands a little bit in front of you, not directly under you how you are in a tabletop. You're gonna lift the hips up and push back. Now that is a proper alignment when you go into a down dog, up and back. Good. Now, I assume this is most of our first down dog of the morning, so be gentle. Show some love here. Pet all those legs out, rock left and right. Maybe bend both of your knees, rock the hips left and right. Find autonomy in this pose. Maybe you bend your right knee, turn to the left. Turn to the right. Cha cha now. Nah, just kidding. All right. Maybe you pick up the left foot. Turn in this way. Just find whatever's comfortable, whatever feels good. And really press into the palm of the hand. Good. Now bring that right leg into the air. Make sure your hips are squared with the mat. We're not going to open up just yet. So. If your leg, my leg with my hips squared, can only go about this high. That's okay. I'll get it higher one day. Good. Now bend that right knee, open up that leg. Open up that right hip. Maybe straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Good. Now bring that right foot between your palms. Drop that left knee to the ground, left. Shoelace on the ground. Inhale, rise up. 
Now you want your knee to be directly over your ankle or behind it. You never want it to look like this because then you're not protecting your ankle, okay? All right, so arms up. Remember to rotate those pinkies for full rotation. Gaze up. Good, let's cactus those arms. I love to hear your audible breathing. Even though I can't actually hear it, I'm pretending like I am, or I can. Good, you should feel this left hip opening really nicely here. Good, go ahead and bring those hands down. Straighten that right leg. Now, we wanna keep our back as flat as possible. So I'm a little bit rounded, you see? So I'm gonna bring my knee to me. Just bend that knee a little bit. Just feel that right quad stretch. Yoga will look different for every single person. And I think that's great. A couple more breaths. Remember, you grow from the tail to the crown of the head on your inhales. Picture it. Exhale. Melt a little deeper. Good. All right, now rock back forward. This time, placing both palms on the inside of the right foot. Walk the right foot to the outside of your mat. Turn it out a little. This is called a lizard pose. You can take that right hand to open up that right leg a little more if you'd like. Or you can come to your forearms. Whatever's most comfortable for you. Right now, this is considered a yin yoga pose if we hold it a little bit because we are disconnecting the fascia from the muscle. We're helping our bodies recover faster. So that also means it is equally important to slowly get out of the poses that we hold for a good amount of time. So breathing here for a minute. Fun fact while you're sitting here, Women house their emotions in their hips. So when you open your hips, you're prone to opening up some emotions. So sometimes I go to yoga just to cry for an emotional release. I hope that makes you laugh. <laughs> but it really, it's true. Good, now we're gonna go into a right side pigeon. So you're just gonna take that foot, walk it across to the left side, inch it slowly. Lay that right calf on the ground. Now, the goal is to be centered, but if you're a little bit on that right hip, that's okay. It's kind of tough to be centered. It can be a little painful if you're not, if you haven't been practicing this very long, and that's perfectly fine, okay? So for here, you can be up on those fingertips, on the forearms, if you can see, or arms straight out. more activation, be up on those fingertips like this. Really pull those shoulders back. A couple more breaths here. I hope it's not too dark in here. Good, now to get out of this, we're gonna move slowly. So walk those hands up, come up on that left toe, and kind of like an inchworm, beep, inch that left knee back towards the body, slowly. You wanna give this a release, this left hip. Good, once you feel in a good position to bring that right uh, foot between your palms, back between the palms, and that low runner's lunge, put that body up, tuck those left toes, now rise up, inhale strong. Good, make sure that knee is directly over the ankle or behind it, never past it. Good, so both toes are facing one direction right now. So this is just a high lunge. To make this a warrior one, you just corner turn that left foot. Your hips are still squared forward, okay? Whew. 
Breathe here, turn the pinkies in, pull those shoulders back, back, back. Stay there, breathing, breathing, breathing. Hey, Janine. Hey, Kimberly. Breathing here. All right, now let's interlace those fingers behind the back, if available to you. If not, that's perfectly fine. And just leave them on your hips. All right, pull those shoulders back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring the body to the thigh. And as far as you can pull those hands over your head, the deeper the stretch you'll get. Make sure you're breathing. Smile. Olive, what are you doing? Drop that. Hello. Hello. You sit down. Good. Inhale, arms back up. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. Good. Now go ahead and rotate those hips towards me. Warrior two. Now, I imagine you're feeling some burn in that right leg, because I am. <laughs> Breathe. We're about to straighten it, I promise. Good. If you need to take a break, that's fine. Just straighten it for a minute. Take a breath. Back to warrior two. There is no shame in taking breaks at any point. You know your body better than anybody else. So you do, you girls. All right. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, bring it back. Reverse warrior. Left hand to bind behind your lower back or on the left thigh. Never on the left knee because you don't want to straighten that knee, okay? Gaze of the left hand. Pinkies turned in. Breathing. Good. Rainbow down. Right fingertips to the inside of the right foot. Gaze up of that left hand. At any point, if you'd like more of a challenge, close the eyes. You'd be surprised. Well, see? Good. Inhale back to warrior two. Straighten that right leg. Oh, yes. Okay. Turning both toes in now. Okay. Wide legged forward fold with a flat back. Remember, let me do this so you can see a little better. Right now, my back is not flat. You see how I'm sticking out my booty? Tuck that tailbone. There we go. Forward fold, flat back. Now when you feel a pull in your lower back or your legs, bend those knees to keep your back flat. Bring the palms to the ground. Good. Now just take a moment to become heavy here. Really use the inhales to grow from tail to crown. Exhale. You can round the back here a little bit. Good. Really think about pushing into your palms, pushing into them and pushing against back. Good. Now maybe find some autonomy in this pose. Sway to the right, bending the right leg, straightening the left. Let your right shoulder lead. Now let your left shoulder lead. Straighten the right, bend the left. Back the other way, your shoulder leading. Good, now straighten both legs. Make sure those toes are still turned in. Take that left hand, grab the right ankle. Same thing as we did earlier, but a little more intense of a stretch now. You can take your left hand and bind one day to grab the inside of your left thigh. Or your left hand or right hand can just be free and you can play with some arm movements, put it on the hip. You can grab the left shoulder with it. Either way, use that right angle to pull into, use as leverage. Good, switching sides. Right hand to left ankle, bind behind the lower back. One day to grab the inside of the right thigh. Using those inhales, crown to, or crown the tail. 
grow, exhale, melt. Good, move back to center now. Let's go ahead and inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, straighten. One more. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, straighten. Good. Airplane those arms out. Inhale, rise up, flat back. Woo! Yes. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Grab some water. Ooh, felt that one. How are we all doing? Good. All right. We're gonna do our left side next, and then we'll take it to the floor and we'll cool down. I hope I'm not the only one drinking water. He'll just watch me. <laughs> okay. So, as we started in the beginning in Tadasana, our standing activated pose, we'll start there at the left side. All right, so feet together, kneecaps lifted to engage those quads. Do you feel that when you lift your kneecaps? Tuck the tailbone, Michael Jackson. Shoulders back, palms spread wide, head in line with the spine. Something I want you to think about in your day to day, how often is your spine out of alignment? How often are we looking down at our phones, push it back into alignment. Just think about that today. Okay, so standing activated. Let's take one good clearing breath here. Inhale up the nose, fill up, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Good, it's important to breathe during this. All right, inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, flat back. Bend the knees if your back rounds. Inhale, halfway lift up now. Now this posture here, I should be able to rest a plate of food on your back. So make sure you're one straight line all the way from your crown all the way to your tail, okay? Exhale, forward fold. Good, now if you're at the front or the back, either walk your hands out to a, do a down dog or walk your feet back to a down dog. Good. Now inhale that left leg in the air, hips squared with your mat. Hi, Coney. Good. Now turn that left hip out, open it up wide. Play with straightening and flexing, or bending, straightening and bending. Good. Really press into those palms. Good. Now bring that left hand or left foot between your palms. Drop that right knee to the ground, right toes on the ground. Now, inhale, rise up. Make sure that knee is over the ankle, never past it. Rotate those pinkies in for more rotation. Gaze up. Feel that juicy right hip opener right now. Good. This time let's beach ball those arms. Last time with cactus, let's beach ball. Or ballerina. Really push into those right toes for stability, into the top of the right foot, into the left toes. Good, now bring the palms to the ground, rock back. With a flat back, as flat as you can get it. And remember, if your back begins to round, that's okay. Just bring that knee to your chest, bring it to you, so you can keep that back flat. The goal is to one day have a flat back and go all the way down. That's why we kind of practice with bringing it to us gradually. Olive. Breathing here. Okay. <laughs> These dogs are just staring. Good, one more good breath here. Good, 
now go ahead and rock forward. Bring both of your hands to the inside of your left foot. Walk the left foot out. Turn the foot out a little bit. Left side, lizard. And you can take that left hand to the inside of the left knee. Push it out if you'd like. Or just be on your hands. Or come to your forearms. Whatever's most comfortable for you. Coming to your forearms will be the most intense stretch you'll get. to your left side pigeon. Walk that left foot across the body. Bring the left calf to the ground with the goal in mind of staying center, but if you're a little bit on that left bum, that's okay. One day we'll get there. Either on the palms, the forearms, or for the most intense, arms straight out in front of you. to breathe. Walk that itch Good. One more good breath here. Good. Now slowly walk those hands back towards you. Same thing as we did on the right side. Inch that right foot little by little just to be gentle and come out of this kindly. And when you're ready, you feel stable, bring those left foot back between the palms, those back left foot. All right, rise the body up, tuck those right toes, inhale, lift up. Good, breathing here, both toes facing forward. Let me go this way so I can see a little better. Good, breathing here. Good, interlace those fingers behind the back, or you can leave them on your hips. Bring the body to your thigh. <sighs> Breathing here, smile. <laughs> Good, inhale, rise the body back up. Quarter turn that right foot now. Palm spread wide, breathe. Good. Warrior two, hips towards whatever will you are, towards me, towards me. Good, breathing here. So the goal of a warrior two is to have your left or right here heel in this pose lined up with the middle of your right foot. Now, if you have them staggered like railroad tracks, that's perfectly fine for more stability. Good, breathing here. Inhale, reach forward to the left. Exhale, bring it back, reverse warrior. Remember, right hand on the thigh, never the knee, or a bind behind the lower back. One day to grab the inside of the left thigh. Gaze up, close the eyes for more of a challenge. Good, rainbow down, left fingertips to the inside of the left foot. Gaze up that right hand. One more good breath here. You got this. Good, rise back up. Woo, straighten that left leg, good. All right, this time, we're gonna turn both toes out. Try to cactus those arms. Sit in your goddess, good. Really think about pulling those shoulders back. You don't want your arms to be droopy. You don't want them too high. Centered straight out from your shoulders. Breathe here. Inhale, lift up, big star. 
Ah, yes. All right, now face both of your toes straight on. You're going to take your arms up, right arm under your left. One day those hands to clap, but if your right hand is grabbing your left forearm, that's okay. Good. Now think about, think about bringing those arms up like this, really pulling those shoulders. Bend those knees, bring the body straight down. Flat back. Bring those arms up, 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 and up. Breathing here. Good, inhale, rise up. Arms out, big star. Left arm under your right now. This is called a horse eagle. Arms up, bend the knees, flat back, go down. Breathing here. Good, now bring those palms to the ground. Bring those feet in. Heels on the ground, yogi squat. Now here, if your heels are not touching the ground, that's okay, come up a little bit like this. But you wanna use those elbows to open up those knees, okay? Hands to heart center. Good, bring the legs together. Roll back and do a little ball. Find your sacrum. Rock left and right, give it a little massage. Whoop. Good. When you find that sacrum massage, it feels so good. Just kind of reset here for a minute. Close the eyes. Inhale to the nose. Exhale to the mouth. Good. Now let's bring both legs out straight. We're going to cool down now. This is my favorite part. All right. Inhale that right leg to your chest. Give it a big hug and then bring it around the right rib cage. On the, so you're on the right side like this, but your head's in the ground, okay? I can't see myself, so I hope this makes sense. Ow. <laughs> Good, breathing here. Now what you wanna think about is every inhale, bring that knee up. Every exhale, bring it closer to the body. We're massaging our ascending colon right now. Keep moving here with your own breath while you say hello to, hey Robin, hey Paula. Bring that left leg to meet your right. Bring them up again. Give them a big hug again. Now this time we're going to stretch our ankles out a little bit. Excuse me, ma'am. Go. Go. Get back. Get back. Get. Get. Sorry. Get back. Go. Go. <laughs> All right. So you're going to, as your legs are in a hug, cross your right ankle over your left. Grab the tops of your shoelaces. Pull your legs together, 
kind of rock with it. You're giving your ankles a little massage right now. Play with flexing, pointing your toes, flexing. Ooh, I'm feeling some popping. Pointing. Good. Now switch left ankle over your right. Grab the tops of your shoelaces. Pointing and flexing. Heads relax in the ground. Pointing and flexing. Good. Now bring both feet on the ground. We're going to take a little bridge here. Pretend like there's a string on your belly button. Pulling it up. Okay? All right, so you can tuck. Oh, sorry, I was not whistling for you. Tuck those shoulders. Begin to slowly lift, lift, squeezing those glutes, squeezing those quads. Move those shoulders under. I like to step on my hands with my heels. Hold to the top. Good, slowly lower back down. Two more here. Inhale, lift, slow, engaging those quads, engaging those glutes. Hold on the top, exhale, bring it down slow. Good, one more. Inhale, lift up. Holding. Holding here for a minute. Exhale, bring it down. Good. Let's bring those feet together. Let's take a little reclining butterfly for a minute. Ooh, you can push on those legs. You can flutter those wings. Good, the closer you bring your feet inwards, the more intense the stretch. If you wanna leave it out here, that's perfectly fine. Good. All right, now bring those legs to your chest. You're gonna let your right knee lead. We're gonna do a supine twist. Right knee leading, left knee to follow. So you make this S type of shape with your legs. Really my, the ball of my right foot is connecting with the left knee, if that's helpful to picture. Arms straight up. So a lot of times in a supine twist, we'll have them come together and both go, knees connected, but we're separating the knees. We're gonna stay here for a couple of breaths. Really feel it in that left quad. with the arms, maybe you want to bring them over your head, maybe you want to grab opposite elbows over your head. Good, now we're going to fan to the left side, let the left knee lead, right knee to follow. Left knee over to your right. Good, now you feel it in that right quad, arms however you want them. breaths here before we take our last pose. Good. Now bring those legs back to center. Give them a big hug. Massage that sacrum one more time. Maybe finding a full circle using your legs to Take them out a little bit, bring them in. Really massage the sacrum. And then reverse directions. Good, all right. Our final pose is gonna be happy baby. 
I'll face this way so I don't give you a crush. <laughs> All right, so those legs come up. You grab the inside of your feet. Happy baby. Rocking left and right. This should feel good. Or you can play with grabbing the tops of your toes to bring them out a little more. You can play with straightening the legs and bending if you like. Find some autonomy in this pose. Maybe you want to point the feet and then flex. Point and then flex. Good, we're gonna stay here for a couple of breaths. And give him one more big hug. Meet me in an easy seated position. Again, activated seated pose. Shoulders back, become soft though. Shoulders back, tuck the tailbone, head in line with the spine. Bring the hands up. Gathering everything that is good to heart center. Exhale. One more, inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring those thumbs to touch the heart for clear and loving intentions. Bring those thumbs up to your mouth for clear and loving communication. Bring those thumbs up to the middle of your forehead and your third eye for clear and loving thoughts. I thank you all for your practice this morning. Namaste, ladies. Hey Brandy, I hope you all enjoyed that practice. If you're interested in a Shavasana, Shavasana is just a time to simply lay there and relax. What I encourage you to do, find a space, maybe it's just a space like this in your kitchen, wherever you are, grab your comfy clothes if you're kind of cold from sweating, get cozy, find a pillow, maybe open your legs and recline butterfly as you lay there. But just lay there, find some nice music, maybe light some candles, set the mood for yourself, okay? And then just focus on your breath. Focus on the rise and the fall of your chest and your belly. Maybe take a full body scan, starting in the tips of your toes, naming every body part as you go up all the way to the crown of your head. This really helps though, focus your mind on what's happening right now. Anxiety, stress can come from dwelling on the past or right now, the future, what's gonna happen with all of this corona stuff. I don't like to talk about it right now. But our minds wander, so try to connect with the breath, try to connect with what's happening in your body right now. How does your body feel right now? So I hope you all enjoyed the practice. Thank you, Tammy, I appreciate your support. That's very kind. And I would love feedback at any time I'm also going to be doing a live Mer so my company is Mer Curls Yoga. I have a Facebook page. I'll be doing a live class tonight, four to four forty-five. So feel free to tune in, and I'll be doing those classes often too. Um, anyways, just hello, Shaheen. Shaheen, beautiful name. Anyways, Olive, come say hi. Come say hi. Okay. Namaste, ladies. I hope you all enjoyed the class. Um, let me know if you have any questions or I can help in any way. Okay, bye.